Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today we're doing a machine called Pico Rick. This is a web application machine that is supposed to teach us how to properly enumerate a web application and how to really find interesting information from a web app. So I went to try Hack Me and I started the machine. As you can see, I got an IP address of this. So the first thing that we need to do is jump to our Kali Linux, run an MAP. And I say it's V, and I say C. I'll just do the top 10, top 1000 ports. Um, these are TCP ports and see what we can find. Okay, so our NMAP finished as you can see. So we only have port 80 and 22. So this is a web application that we are working with. Um, first thing is, of course, we need to open a browser and visit the web application, which we can right here. We see it in a browser here. Um, we can read through this text. It doesn't seem to it says you need to burp uh, but let's see if we can view the page source all right right away this is information disclosure in the browser so username is this i would copy that and put it in my notes so that's my username all right so once we do that next let's run go bus on this thing since we don't see anything interesting. So I'll say, let's run Go Basta. So going back to my notes here, let's use um, medium.txt. And looking at this, it's an HTML one. So maybe let's do this. So we're saying, hey, Go Basta, let's put extension of PHP HTML. Then we can say it's 10.10.219.118. All right. See what GoBasa finds from that site. Right away, you see index.html. And also, we have a login.php. That's an interesting one. So let's open the browser and see what we can find on login.php. .php. What do we got there? Okay, we got a portal. Portal login here username and password we do have a username but we don't have a password so one thing that we can try is from this username i'll just use the same username on both fields of username and also in the password does that work so it's invalid okay so we need a password somehow uh, we have a portal.php and also slash assets let's ch check slash assets slash assets all right, we do have some assets here, fail.gif. If you look through all this, you actually will find that this doesn't lead anyway, but I would check some of this JavaScript stuff that's in here, make sure that there isn't anything interesting. There's an image here that you can always try to see. I even used um, some tools to see if there's any hidden information in here. It's actually, there isn't any. And here's another JPEG. So it's just a bunch of uh, random stuff. Another file that we check is robots.txt. We always check this, especially if it doesn't show up here. I'm, I'm not looking for text, so it won't show up. But robots.txt is a file that we always check. In this case, we see this gibberish stuff here, which is kind of interesting. And after a while, it actually took me a while. I realized I can come back here and put that gibberish as the password. Now let's try to see if it will work. All right. So from robots.txt, that's the password. From the source page, that's the username. Kind of CTF stuff that you kind of have to try anyway. And here we can run commands. ls minus l. Give me everything that's in here, please. OK. I got a clue. I see assets here. I also see. Um, supersecret.txt. So I'd like to get this file. We have command injection, so why not? Okay. So cat didn't like that. We also have head less. So what if I said, um, yeah, maybe head. If head doesn't work, we will try less. Because that command is, Okay, 
So the commands are disabled here, which is unfortunate. Oh, wait a second, less works. So, Mr. Seek here, is that um, the answer to something? What is the first ingredient Rick needs? Actually, this looks like the first ingredient here, according to the format that we have. So that will do it for this one. All right. What is the second ingredient Rick needs? Well, since I have command injection, I can try to get a reverse shell here, but I'm just going to try to use this panel to see how far I can go. LS minus LA, let's see everything. Okay, clue the text. Let's clue the text. Look around the file system for another ingredient. Okay, so according to here, we need to look for the second ingredient. Let's minus L. Let's do slash home. See if we have any users in here. In here. Okay, we have Rick. Looks like we have all kinds of permissions here uh, for the user Rick. <laughs> And Ubuntu, we kind of looked. So even though this is owned by root, we can read, write, and execute anywhere inside of rig. So ls minus l slash home slash rig. I might not even need to get a reverse shell here if this is going to work. Okay. Second ingredients. This is a file called second ingredients. So... Less slash home slash rig slash second ingredients. I think I might need a quote here. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Maybe I don't need a reverse show here. So that's the second ingredient. What is the final ingredient Rick needs? Okay. Well, we're going to keep with just this command line here without even getting a reverse show. Maybe we'll even get to everything. Um, sudo minus L. I know we actually have a password that we signed in as. Yeah, yeah, we can get everything that we need then. Was sudo permissions even allow us to um, read everything. So ls slash root. Usually that's where the root uh, flag is kept as sudo. So maybe I can say sudo ls minus l slash root. Wow. Well, <laughs> we are in luck today. sudo less slash root slash third dot text. Oh wow. Well. Here is the third ingredient. So this machine was very easy then. Because we didn't even need a reverse shell to do all the work that we did. We just literally used um, everything that we had. But I'm not going to end here. I still want a reverse shell. I want to see, can I actually get a real reverse shell here uh, using that? So I'm going to go to payloads all the things we shell was th that's just not cool for us to just run from there let's see if we if we can try to get a, a reverse shell there okay can i use this one well technically we can run this as root so i'm going to try this one all right in order for me to use that all i have to do is go back here i'm going to say sudo bash minus c then this is how we usually do it then we put this in quotes quote so this just needs to be the ip address of my kali linux machine from the terminal ipa so it's going to be 10 258 87 we will just replace that Okay, I'm not even going to change the port. It's port 4242. Naked minus LVNP on 
4242. Let's see if this actually works. We don't have to do this since we got the flags, but why not? And I'm executing it as sudo anyway, because why not? And look at that. I'm in as root. Am I root? And I can do an ls here. And I'm in as root. So we could have gotten our reverse shell this way, or we just read the flags. So that was a very simple machine. I hope you like it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time. Thank you for being here.